day three without washing my hair. I think I'm kind of liking the brunette thing. Dirty her. The struggle for lighting is real. Uh, seriously, if I see another Valentine's Day tutorial, I'm gonna scream. I know. I'm a brunette. Well, kind of. I mean, I... If you guys don't follow me on Instagram that you wouldn't know this, but I did get my hair done. And this is a pretty drastic change for me. I mean, I've been blonde my entire life. And then as soon as I started to kind of venture into like the dirty blonde for my natural hair color, I started highlighting my hair. So I have literally been blonde my entire life and I've never really done anything different except I did dye my hair brunette when I was in high school and I hated that. It ended in tears and it ended badly. But I did want some sort of a change. So I went with um, what is called a gradual ombre. So it is darker. This is much darker than my natural hair color, but I figure it will kind of fade into my natural hair color eventually after some washes. And then it just kind of fades into like blonde, blonde, blonde on the bottom. So that way it was, you know, although it was a drastic change for me, it wasn't like, oh my God, a blonde, like going from like, blonde to black so it was definitely something I could handle without wanting to cry so uh, I hope you guys like it I do it's just something different for now uh, I think eventually I'm going to add in some more biolage blonde highlights in the back or in the front like right in here just to kind of brighten up my face a little bit because I do think that I'm a blonde at heart and I think that that's probably what I look best in but I wanted something different and I didn't want to chop all my hair off so this is what you're left with. If you want to see some more like detailed pictures you can go check out my Instagram and they'll be on there um, from the day that I got my hair done. So anyways let's get on to the video. This is going to be a review and a demo of all of the Dose of Colors lip glosses. I don't own any of the lipsticks I only own the lip glosses lip glosses because if you know, if you own any of them, or if you've done research on any of them, then you would probably know that they are not lip glosses at all. They're very similar to a OCC lip tar, where it has a very, very watery consistency. It's very, very thin, and um, the color is very, very pigmented. The only difference I would say about the OCC Lip Tars and the Dose of Colors Lip Glosses is that the OCC Lip Tars come in a little tube with a little brush and you kind of just paint it on your lips. Well, this is an actual you know, lip gloss form because it comes in the bottle with the wand. So it's a lot easier to uh, put on your lips. It's a lot easier to apply. And at the same time, it doesn't have nearly the amount of bleeding that OCC Lip Tars do. I had tried those, I tried a few different ones a couple times, and oh, good lord, they were like all over my lips. Like literally, if I had a red one on, it would I would look like a vampire that had just attacked somebody because I would have red like coming down my lips right here not cute so i kind of retired those and when i saw these i didn't to be honest do any research on them whatsoever i was just hearing a lot about the pigmentation of them so i was like all right girl bought all of them so i did talk about one of these in my what was i january favorites that i filmed about a week ago this is what the little tube looks like if you didn't see that video um, you can just see the packaging is really, really cute. I like the packaging. I like the white. I like that it's clear so you can actually see what the color is. And it does have the color on the bottom as well if you're going to store them upside down. But I just kind of store them right side up in little acrylic lipstick holders. Now, this is what the wand looks like. It's just a typical doe foot wand and it makes it really, really easy to apply in comparison to the OCC Lip Tars where you had to use a little brush. Now, in terms of pigmentation, I'll show you like demos, I guess you can say, of each and every single color so that way you can see which color you may want to purchase and you can kind of see how they apply as well. Now, in terms of pigmentation, I would say 
you know, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, because the color that you see in the tube is exactly what's going to be applied to your lips. Now, this is the color that's called Undress, which has been very, very popular on Instagram, on YouTube recently. It looks very brown in the tube, but when applied to the lips, it's like the perfect nude. However, so, so this is really the only one that doesn't apply exactly what it looks like in the tube, if that makes sense. Now, um, in terms of longevity, like seriously y'all, 1 out of 10. I mean, this probably only lasts about an hour on the lips. Um, because it's such a thin, watery consistency, you can see how it just wouldn't last at all. The color is amazing, but you're definitely going to need to bring this with you to apply it throughout the day because it's just not going to last. It's similar to, you know, any sort of, um, you know, foundation. Usually, watery based foundations don't tend to last as long as a very creamy foundation or just like regular old lip glosses. A very watery lip gloss isn't going to last as long as a very, very sticky lip gloss. So if you're not into st sticky lip glosses at all, then this may be your girl because it's not sticky at all. It's literally just like putting water on your lips. That's how light it feels and that's how thin it feels as well. Um, what else should we talk about? Price. Price, I would give it like a 5 out of 10 because I really do think that for what they are, $15 a pop is kind of expensive. I mean, when you think about what other kind of quality lip glosses you can buy for $15, um, you know, you kind of really have to think about it, you know, in terms of your budget and what's going to work for you, if it's really going to be worth it. $15, I mean, that can buy you a MAC lip gloss, a lip gloss that can buy you, um, I think the Buxom ones, maybe like 21 if I'm not mistaken. So, and those are like my all-time favorite. But, um, you know, in terms of what $15 can buy you, you just kind of have to figure out on your own what's worth it to you and what's not. I personally do think that $15 for these is kind of steep, but that's just my personal opinion. When it comes to ease of application, I would give these an 8 out of 10. They're super, super easy. The only thing is, is when you're working with something that's so thin, it can be a little bit difficult to get it like perfectly on your lips. So what I do is I just kind of put a little in the center of my lip rub my lips together like that and then it kind of you know shows up if you are going to go with one of the darker colors like this one right here then I would suggest using a lip liner and then applying it a little bit more carefully this probably this color in particular probably isn't something that you can just apply in the car from your rear view mirror but the lighter colors probably are so when we talk about range of colors I would say I would give these a 10 out of 10 there is at the moment one two three four five six seven eight nine different colors um, so you know there it ranges anything from like a very light nude to a very that's not purple <laughs> to a very dark purple so there are lots of different ranges of colors and I do think that they'll probably come out with more since they are kind of gaining more you know popularity on Instagram and on YouTube and then they also have a line of lipsticks as well which I don't know anything about because I don't own any of them but from the pictures that I've seen they look like they're really pigmented as well and um, they're definitely gonna have a little bit more of a creamier consistency than these watery lip glosses. Overall if you are not a sticky lip gloss fan then you will probably love these just because you know they are so thin you can't you literally cannot feel them on your lips at all and they do have really great pigmentation uh, the only thing is is that you're gonna have to apply them all day long because they really don't last long at all but I mean if you don't mind that then overall my only complaint about these is that they don't last long I'm I really don't mind a sticky lip gloss. I'd rather have it be a little bit sticky and last a little bit longer. But if you hate sticky lip glosses, then this is going to be all you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff if you want to come chat with me about things. And yeah, I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day and I will see you guys next time. Bye. You ever go from blonde to dark and then you literally feel like Elvira because it's just so dark for you and you're just not used to it? That is me right now.